Rock 107, WIRX, WIRX.com, the Plan B Morning Show. Brock Hunter. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, 622, we got to get to it. Sports time. Time for Plan B Morning Show Sports with Brock and Hunter. As always, sports brought to you by Bud Distributing. Hey, Bud. Bud Distributing, stocking your fridges with delicious Bud Light, other amazing Bud products. So if you're like, eh, I'm thirsty, then well, you're set because you're stocked up. It's, it's, it's uh, thirsty. You're good. Good. All right, quick baseball story because that's really the big news right now, man. As uh, Rob Manfred stood behind the podium, a podium, I should say, in the left field corner of Roger Dean Stadium, fans chanted, at the baseball commissioner from outside of uh, the spring training home of the Miami Marlins, uh, what do you think they were chanting? Uh, let's go, Brandon. Has that been the big thing that people are chanting now? Or uh, oh, yeah. No, they were chanting, we want baseball. Oh, we want okay, that baseball. makes more sense. I don't know what people chant anymore. It's been so long since I've been anywhere where people uh, chant anything. And again, mm-hmm. before anyone freaks out, I'm not saying you should chant "Let go, let's go, Brandon." It's just that seems to be everywhere right now, right, and right. Uh, and these big sporting events and everything where everyone's getting together. Like, what's the new hot chant? What? When's the last time, Hunter? When's the last time you've been in a group and you've chanted something? Chanted something. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, know, you know if I have ever really. Oh, well, <laughs> besides out outside of sports, I don't know exactly, right? So we I don't know. Want baseball. It makes sense. It makes sense. You know? That's what they yelled. They won't get it anytime soon, though. Brock, owners and players were unable to agree on a labor contract to replace the uh, the collective bargaining agreement that expired December 1st. December 1st was the deadline. And then they moved it. Dan Patrick was talking about it a little bit yesterday. He's like, that December 1st deadline. But then they extended the deadline. Like, isn't it deadline? A deadline? Isn't that what it's? Kind of defeats the purpose of what a deadline is, you know? It kind of reminds me of that Seinfeld bit where he has the reservation. <laughs> the lady's like, sir, we know how reservation work. I don't think you do. Sir, <laughs> we know how deadlines work. I don't think you do. I don't think you do. See, because if you did, we would have had it at the deadline. That's what it deadline. is. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's why they call it the deadline. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I don't know. He proposed another interesting question yesterday, too. Is like, did anybody here know when opening day actually was? Like, you're all bitching about it, but. Yeah, most people I mean, don't. It's just because it's I mean, here. It's just, it just, it's like, oh, okay, there's, op- it's, it's here, you know? It just comes, you know, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, hopefully they figure that over there in the baseball diamond, man, because, yeah, I think we need sports right now. Things are kind of in shambles, you know, around the world, and baseball is fun and keeps things together, you know? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, more stories here, man. Memorabilia. An unused ticket from Michael Jordan's very first NBA game sold at an auction. I think we were talking about this last week, but it sold. Sold for $468,000. Mike Cole of Connecticut says he remembered he had the ticket after seeing a recent story about a a torn stub from the October 26th, 84 game uh, being sold for $264,000. He figured the unusual and preserved ticket might be worth a lot more than he was, and he was right. About half a million dollars, Brock. This is crazy. Yeah. I don't Michael like Jordan can walk to his house and be like, all right, this controller right here. Yeah. I'm just I grabbing do. stuff. I'm worth a, you know, I touched it. It's worth like $300. I guess for me, it's like, okay, the ticket was unused. Like, I get if it was a used ticket, but mm-hmm. that wasn't even, if you want to really break it down, that wasn't even in the stadium mm-hmm. at the time of the game. It wasn't even yeah. in the stadium. Absolutely right. You know what I mean? Like a used ticket, be like, oh, okay, you were there. This ticket walked through the gates at the stadium. I think the at, idea of it, though, know. is like because there's probably no other unused ticket, you know, around. Like whereas people would go to the game, probably save their stuff. So there's probably a bunch of torn tickets, but maybe the, this might be the only one that, can you still use it? <laughs> you know? Hey, Can't is this t- I guess still he good? It. Yeah, he did cash. Yeah, he's, yeah, he made his money back on that ticket for sure. You know, for sure. It's a good thing yeah. he missed that game. Yeah. So, kind of interesting there. Pro football news. Seems like the overtime rule <clears throat> changes are on the way for the NFL. What? Huh? Don't get my hopes it, up, Hunter. Don't dude, get my hopes up. I know. Let, let's get through the story, and then we'll talk about it. Both the Indianapolis Colts and the Bills have proposed changes that would guarantee each team in possession in the regular season and postseason. Uh, the NFL's competition committee is uh, meeting in Indianapolis this week and is expected to discuss 
these proposed rule changes. Come on. Just just go for it. Nobody likes not having a rebuttal. It's trash. I think everybody here agrees, right? Yeah. I mean, you you should get a chance. It it just makes it makes sense. I I guess for me, it's like to me it's common sense. Exactly. That it just when you break everything down and you look at a game and having a winner and a loser, which ties need to just be uh-huh. gone. I don't I don't understand like, it. It's just it's somebody just scared to ask Roger like like when the rule does change is somebody finally going to have the balls to go up to be like, "Hey, so yeah. Why 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 was it like that? Why why did we have it that way before?" I just feel I like you got Roger Goodell at the front of this table with all of the the rule makers there in the NFL, and he's like, "So, does anyone have any uh, suggestions? Maybe that we should do any any ideas? Hey, it's, this is an open forum. No no wrong ideas thrown out here. Why is it someone just like uh, I just mm-hmm. ate, just spitballing here? I got an idea. <laughs> why don't no, and then don't get mad, Roger. Don't get mad, but." Why don't we allow a rebuttal? Get out. You get, get, the out. get You get out of here. <laughs> you, know, you pack your things, Jensen, and you get the yeah. hell out. I don't want to right. see your face around the NFL ever again. He's bar. I, I don't know. It's to just, the guillotine. Yeah, that's it. Just pulls I out. Don't ask Roger that again. Nobody asked. Yeah, yeah. He killed the last guy. Unbelievable. Here, here what happened to John? He suggested <laughs> a rebuttal in overtime. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Damn. Roger shot him in the face. Good <laughs> God. Ah. I don't. It's anyway, just, it makes come sense. on. Yeah. Please change that rule. It did make football a little bit Look, better. I mean, leave, football's leave the, great right now, but leave the rest of the stupid rules in place. That's fine. You want to keep the kickoffs uh, like they are. You want to keep the extra right. points back. Where, that's fine. Leave all the other stupid changes you've made. I don't <laughs> care. But for God's sakes, for God's mm-hmm. sakes, don't leave overtime to a coin flip, pretty much, is right. what it is. Or, you know what, fine, just don't, make it a coin don't flip. Let it, like, like, give us a chance to beat Mahomes. Basically, that's yeah, what the that's, rule is. That's what it know? is, right there, right there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mahomes got the coin flip. Eh, damn damn it. It. Just give it to him. We're not going to try. Yep. Give it to him. <laughs> anyway, there you go, man. I got more football coming up next hour, but uh, we'll settle there. So. Good enough for me. Sports brought to you by Bud Distributing. Hey, Bud. We'll be back. Rocks. Well, who do Give him on. 725, Brock. Hunter. Yee-haw. What's up, man? <laughs> uh, now with more banjo. It's the Plan B Morning Show. 725. Did I say the He's title? He's a little more jaw heart, too. Yeah. You know? We used to buy him a Cracker Barrel all the time. Yeah, you never learned how to play him. Terrible. Just <laughs> another wasted purchase from your parents' money. Hey, uh, we got to get to it. Sports time. Time for Plan B Morning Show Sports with Brock and Hunter. As always, sports brought to you by Bud Distributing. Hey, Bud. Bud Distributing, stocking your fridges with delicious Bud Light, other amazing Bud products. So if you're uh, thirsty from playing the jaw harp, uh, you're set mm-hmm. to go. Good. It does make you thirsty, you know? <laughs> Especially when you're really <laughs> wailing on that thing. <laughs> All right, Major League Baseball. It's kind of a big story in sports right now. As my, uh, Rob Manfred stood behind a podium in the left field corner of Roger Dean Stadium, fans chanted at the baseball commissioner, from outside the spring training home of the Miami Marlins. Uh, they were, you know what they were chanting? We want baseball. We want baseball. Sorry, my cat's freaking out. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. <laughs> we want ba- You know? Yep. Come on. We need something right now. That's what they yelled. Uh, they won't be getting it anytime soon, though. Is that what he said back? Damn. Uh, owners and players were unable to agree on a labor contract to replace the uh, collective bargaining agreement that expired December 1st, which was brought up the other day that December 1st was the deadline, and then they extended it. It's not really a deadline then, right? Dan Dan Patrick was talking about it yesterday. It's cracking me up. Yeah, there. if you... It's kind and, of the point of a, of a deadline is, you know, the deadline. Yeah, to, you know, have a, a, a line where time is no longer allowed, all right? That is all the right. dead line like if it, you can extend it you might want to call it something different yeah like a flexible a flexible line it's a flexible exactly flexible line yeah. yeah doesn't doesn't have that much of a punch though the flexible no, line you know no, no, no. anyway so I, are we going to get baseball eventually i don't know when 
Maybe in April. Maybe April. I think June, too, is even possibly you in know, the conversation. And I, I'd be really that upset that they're cutting I was, out I was games. just going to say, I mean, the, the 3,000 games they play a season, I think we could shave off a few Well, here months, it is. You know? The announcement cut each club schedule from 162 games to likely 156 at most. Wait, hold on a second now. Hold on a sec. You're going to cut just, that many games? Completely You're gonna cu- fine. It's completely fine. You're going to cut that many? That's too much. That's too much. I can see one or two games, but not six. Why, it, why that many games? I don't get it. Don't maybe know. maybe if you cut that in half, like, dude, each game now is 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 important. You know, there's a little bit more interest in, in a game when there's something on the line, you know? But when you're playing 100,000 games well, all the time, it's... It, it, and I get when baseball was first adopted, all right? All those years ago, America's pastime, all right? Well, that's when we had nothing else going on, all right? We, uh, the only thing we could do is watch a baseball game, okay? Let's listen to us talk like we know what we're talking Little about. different nowadays, okay? You don't need 100... Because no one really cares about the mm-hmm. first few games... The first... When I say few, the first what? I mean, you got your diehards. Games? You got yeah. your diehards out there, that, you know, but I don't know. Seems like a lot of games. Anyway, baseball, is it going to be played? It will. I'm not sure when. Probably in April. So Let's shave off half those games. Get it figured out. Moving on. Listen to this, man. An unused ticket from Michael Jordan's very first NBA game sold at an auction for $468,000. It's a big chunk of change there, man. Mike Cole of Connecticut says he remembered he had the ticket after seeing a recent story about the uh, torn stub from the October 26, 1984 game uh, that was being sold for uh, well, sold for $264,000. He figured the unused and preserved ticket might be worth a lot more. And he was right, about a half a million dollars. Just insane. They said last hour, dude, Michael Jordan can literally walk through a room and touch stuff, and it increases in value. It's weird. Right, gold, gold. You got the gold. Midas touch, man. Gold, here you go. Touch yep. that. Here yep. you go. Yep. It's, it's insane, dude. Do you imagine one of your, something you, something around Brock, Goes no, for half I, a million dollars. Let's, let's not make ridiculous scenarios here, okay? Yeah, That's right, ridiculous. Right. That's ridiculous. <laughs> you get it at the pawn shop. <laughs> All right, moving on. Pro football. It seems like overtime rules will change. Overtime. They're on their way, Brock. Yeah. Give me overtime. That, Both I'm, the Indianapolis Colts and the Bills proposed that uh, changes would uh, guarantee each team a possession in the regular season and postseason. Uh, the NFL's competition committee meeting in Indianapolis this week and is expected to discuss these proposed rule changes. Too nice. Please. I'm not getting my hopes up. Like, this is a cool story, and it's cool that it's even being brought up. Uh, of course, it shouldn't have taken until 2022, the 2023 season, for this to be a thing. But if it does happen, awesome. But at this point, I'm just not getting my hopes up. Just it's almost one of those things where you bring up, and they, what if Mahomes wins the coin flip? It's yeah. not fair. Yeah, yeah. Which, which he actually didn't win. From the coin, he did win the coin flip and lost. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But come on, guys, there should be a rebuttal. If you score a touchdown, the other team should be able to score a touchdown. It's just as hard for them as it is for you. The, it's, they finally changed the field goal one. So I don't know. What do you think? It should be changed, right? Well, Brock, absolutely, it should be changed, and that's just not going to get my hopes up. So it, it should be changed. It should have never been the way that is now. Uh, but hey, if it happens. Awesome. Leave it alone, and and I'm fine with it. I'll be fine with Take it. Take another page from the XFL, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There you go. So there you go. That's your sports this morning, man. Sports brought to you by Bud Distributing. Hey, Bud. Uh, we'll be back. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> More of the.